What the fuck is up, everyone? Your boy, boy, is back. Making another video. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure what the fuck that is behind me. I think it was wasps. Or, well, hopefully it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's supposed to be. But, anyway, um, yeah. Nintendo just gave their presentation at E3. And... Um, yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about the Nintendo news at E3. And this freaking bird just flew in here. I don't know what the hell his problem is, but, um, yeah. Now, before I start, I just like to say I have to stand up for this video because... Somebody thought it was a great idea to fuck up my chair by putting it outside. Okay. Now let's just get straight into it. Now let's start off with the Smash Bros. Ultimate news. Now. What surprised me is that a, to a Toriyama character actually made it into Smash. A Toriyama character. You guys actually thought that a Toriyama character would never make it in a Smash. Well, you know what? <laughs> you idiots. Over on Google Plus, when it was still up, you idiots were just like, Oh, eh, an Akira Toriyama character or Dragon Ball character can never make it into Smash, but yet, here we are! A Dragon Quest character made it into Smash. Now, I don't really play Dragon Quest. I am quite excited that a Toriyama character made it in, though. And I cannot wait to download the hero, which, by the way, is a weird name. Yeah, I can't wait to download the hero into my game. It's going to be freaking awesome. But yeah, for all you Dragon Ball haters, guess what? You were wrong. You were wrong. How's it feel? How the Fuck does it feel to be wrong? Must feel pretty embarrassing, huh? But yeah, I will be downloading the hero into my Smash game whenever he comes out. And then, of course, there's Banjo-Kazooie. Now, I didn't really want this to happen, but I really do think it's interesting that it is happening. And I am quite excited to see Banjo-Kazooie and Smash. However, I do think it will lower the chances of... <clears throat> uh, Rex and Pyro making it in, because now we're actually getting more tag team characters. So, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't lower the chance of Rex and Pyro coming in. Because, let's, let's not forget... Pyro and Rex deserve to be in Smash. Now that I could put one character in and we'll just put them in separately. But go away, Fly. But yeah, as I was saying, they could just put them in separately, but it won't be as good. But yeah. Um, Sakurai, please let it happen. Please make Rex and Pyra. One of the remaining two DLC characters for Smash. Just let it happen. But yeah, I am quite excited to see Banjo Kazooie in Smash because I played that game as a kid on N64. And yeah, I'm very happy that they finally made it into Smash. Now, moving on to Luigi's Mansion 3. Um, you know, I think I better play. The other Luigi's Mansion games first. I have a GameCube, so I could easily play the first game. But, um, yeah, I... 
am really excited for Luigi's Mansion 3. I will be buying it when it comes out. I think the mechanics looks interesting. It has a lot of cool game mechanics that I cannot wait to try out. And yeah, the hype for that game is real. Believe me. But again, I will have to play the other games first, including the original game on GCN and um, uh, Dark Moon. And yes, I do plan on buying a 3DS. Moving on. Okay, so it turns out that the Mario and Sonic series is going to be returning. And man, am I hyped for that shit. I remember playing... Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games on Wii way back in the old days. And man, that was some good shit. And man, I cannot wait for the return of Mario and Sonic. It's going to be fucking amazing, dude. Amazing. And apparently this game is going to be based off uh, the Tokyo Olympics. And... Um, yeah, I'll definitely be buying that game as well. Really excited. I'm moving on to the Avengers game. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy this. It's not really called the Avengers. Not sure if I'm going to buy this, but I really should. I don't really play superhero games that often, but it looks like it's going to be awesome. Um, it seems Thanos will be the main antagonist of the game. I mean, the graphics aren't really that good. I wish they would have made it a little more realistic, but still. Not sure if I'll buy this game, but it does look quite interesting. And finally, the big game that everyone's excited for, the Breath of the Wild sequel. Now, I only have two concerns about this game. What the fuck was Link writing in that trailer? He was writing on something. I think it was a mammoth. And second, did they turn Ganondorf into a redad? Because I don't know what the frick that villain was when I saw it, but it looked a lot like a redad as Ganon because it had the long red hair. So I think that could possibly be Ganon in zombie form, but I do believe that we need a break from Ganon. I think we need a new antagonist. For the Breath of the Wild sequel. And I hope they give it a different name. Which they more than likely will. But yeah. Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be freaking amazing. I can't wait to tell my brother about this. And yeah. It's going to be awesome. Then of course we got the other Zelda games. Um, that includes the Cadence of Hyrule. Which I probably won't be buying. Because it's a spinoff. And... The 2D Zelda game coming out later this year. Um, uh, Link's Awakening. Yeah, the Link's Awakening remake. I will more than likely be buying that because it looks like a really interesting game. But I don't think I'll play it without playing the original Link's Awakening first, so I probably will be buying that in the far future. Although, the new Link's Awakening looks fantastic. And I can't wait to try it out. Apparently, you can do a lot of exploring in that game. But, it, it, even if it's a, on, a small, on a small island, you can still do lots of exploring. And so I think it will be pretty cool. Now, my disappointments about E3, my only real, <coughs> sorry, my only real disappointment is that we didn't really get a release date for um, the Breath of the Wild sequel, but what do you expect? It's a, it's a new game. It, it, it just started in development, so of course we're not going to have a release date yet. But I'm sure we will get multiple updates in the near future for that game. 
probably at the next Nintendo Direct. I don't know. And another thing that disappoints me, this doesn't really have anything to do with E3, but I just can't believe how many fucking people hated Dragon Ball over on fucking Google+. Plus. It was just so annoying. I would just freaking rant about that shit whenever I needed to, and it would always get me into drama and whatnot. But yeah. I'm glad we got, um, the hero. Because he's actually a video game character, not a anime character. And yeah, I'm not really excited to see him in Smash, but I will download him. Just because he's a Toriyama character. Because, hey, he's a better option than Goku, you know? But, yeah, I'm actually glad that this guy made it into the game. Because it just goes to show that the haters are always wrong, no matter what. And you can hate Dragon Ball all you want, but... Just remember that you were wrong, and a Toriyama character actually made it in a Smash, and I'm really happy about that. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I guess I'll see you guys next time. I'll be making a channel update soon. So, um, yeah, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you all next time.